Three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Head Crack After Hours is a duo in hip-hop. You don't get a chance to say that that much because everybody's a trio, everybody's solo, part of a larger conglomerate. <laughs> but uh, we got the duo Jay Mansa in the building. What's Let's go. On, turn up, turn up, man. On? What's up? Yo, man. So, I mean, where do we begin? Um, um, hold on. Before you start, can I shout out my um, social media? Sure. Man, do that. Hey, man, um, for the first seven followers out there in Atlanta, man. When y'all follow Jay Manza, y'all get a follow back. So I want y'all to get y'all phones out. I know you got to unlock your phone and all that. Get Go them shits the out. And all that. And and I'm going to um, follow us at official, J-A-E-M-A-N-S-A. That's official, J-A-E-M-A-N-S-A, man. Make sure y'all follow us. First seven followers, get a follow back. See? Let's go. That's customer service with a smile. <laughs> now... <laughs> Uh, you know, groups usually have a hard time staying together. Yeah. It definitely gets real interesting when those groups are consisted of blood brothers. I mean, yeah. like, you look at groups like, uh, what was it, LMFAO? Like, they was making a ton of money together, but I guess the <laughs> fact that they, you know, took took the same baths together as kids <laughs> made it difficult for the career to blossom. Now, you guys are cousins. Yeah, yeah first and, cousins. Yeah, first cousins. At, at what point did y'all decide, like, you know what, it would be a great idea, you know, to link up. You know, later, we're working with these other people. Let's, you know, let's keep it fam. Um, probably like a couple years ago, um, that we made the transition about like 2015. Um, cause I was doing, like you said, you heard the New York, New York track yes, first sir. and that was me by myself. So my cousin came down, he started working with me. Um, so we got in the studio just doing like demos, you know what I'm saying? Just messing around and it sound good. So we just stuck with that and we got Jay Manzo, my nigga. What's up? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> we here. So like, I, I know that the story begins a little bit in the Carolinas, but I also detected another, another accent. Like, uh, were you ever in California? No, nah, I grew up in uh, Newport News, Virginia. That's about it. Just VA? Yeah. yeah and I'm so, from Carolina. Yeah. Well, I, describe, I grew up in Carolina. It, it, and what, Newport too? Nah, Carolina. Um, I um lived with them in um, Newport News for like a, two years. Uh-huh. But I um, graduated from North Carolina, uh, well to North, well to high school. Okay. Now, there's a lot of times if someone like walked on the street and pulled a gun on somebody and say, real quick, five seconds, name name three rappers from North Carolina. Like the easy go tos are Petey Pablo, Pablo and J. Cole. J. Cole. It's called J. Cole. But, baby. But the baby, got yeah. Lil Baby's from North Carolina? No, the, the baby. baby. The baby. Yeah. He's going to have to change his name. Yeah. <laughs> but there's a lot of dope artists from the Carolinas. I mean, if you talk about like you know, Lil Brother, uh, you talk about uh, damn Rhapsody, uh, you talk oh, yeah, about yeah. Uh, I mean, even if you want to go way back to the '90s, like Yag Fu Front, you gotta do your Googles on that one. But yeah, yeah, like yeah, the, the, be... the Carolinas had a rich lyrical culture. Like, what's the scene like for people who ain't never been there? Um, the the country well it's like like everybody probably been to Charlotte of course you know but the part like we from you know it's it's the it well, sticks man yeah, everybody know tell everybody you. that's how small it is country you know what I'm saying like yeah but the music the genre of music um is basically right in between like from the lyrical to the down south it's, yeah it's, it's in between so you got the best of both worlds. Yeah, yeah and, and it seems like you know listening to the records right it uh -huh. seems like the fact that you guys have kind of been sequestered from I guess a whole bunch of like follower cities and a lot of follower mentalities, it kind of keeps a certain level of honesty mm -hmm. to your music. Cause like even in the record New York, New York, it wasn't a record beating up New York, but it was just like, just like a, it's like a wake up call. Yeah. yeah it's just like, what's like, up? like, like, like yeah, what's going on like with the game. Yeah. You, got, and, yeah. and you were ahead of his time because like now, New York is kind of back in pocket a yeah, little bit more yeah. so than it was at the time when you made that record. Cause like I was like I was felt the same way you felt. Like damn, like, <laughs> why are people from New York rapping like they from Kentucky? Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So you know you shook some coconuts out of the tree with that one. But then when you switch, you do the switch up like with a record like I Swear. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, 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 which yeah. you know is in that southern pocket, but y'all own it with y'all yeah. own style and even like you know like you know celebrate moms in the same time. That's what we tried yeah, to, like, yeah. do with that, like, I swear and fate. Keep it, like you said, keep it, make it sell with the South, you know what I'm saying? You can you can probably dab to it or something, but still got them bars with it. But the crazy saying? thing about it, um, I swear it came from, like, a um, like a sand. You know, mm -hmm. like, you just chill in the hood and dudes be like, man, I swear on my mom, I'm going to hit this chick. <laughs> I swear on my mom, I got this, I got that, you know what I'm saying? So it, it came from my old sand. Yeah, just some natural, yeah, real natural. Yeah. So now your story has you guys living in Atlanta. Which yeah, is, yeah. Uh, I mean, not that much of a culture shock. I mean, you still like, you know, on the East Coast. Mm -hmm. Well, way more strip clubs, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Way that. better than where we was at at yeah. first. Okay, so describe the strip club scene in North Carolina. 
compared to, <laughs> to the way it is in 18. Because it's crazy. Like, the cities that you d don't think it would get cracking is where it get cracking. Like, Louisiana is a lawless land as it relates to strip clubs, and no one celebrates that in records. I don't understand why. Like, yeah. like pants are an option in New Orleans <laughs> strip clubs. What is it like in the Carolinas? Um, where we from, ain't no script club, ain't no club. I mean, ain't no clubs, ain't no you, script club. You probably gotta we go gotta to, go, to Charlotte or something. We gotta go to um, Raleigh, Charlotte, yeah. Richmond, stuff like that. Yeah, dry, yeah, it ain't no, yeah. Probably, you gotta go at least an hour away to get a good <laughs> dance. That's how, yeah, it's the sticks, man, the sticks out there. So what did you guys do for fun or to keep, you know, or to create your content? Because a lot of times, you know, great music comes from living. Mm -hmm. And from a few records I heard, it seems like you guys, like, you know, Y'all are finding y'all experiences because you definitely got something to talk about. Like, y'all don't hit the same note every time. Yeah. So what what writes the songs for y'all? Um, me, man, I like when I go back home because it's, 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 it's crazy because everybody got a different type of personality. Like, you got one person that laugh here, then you got a drunk person here that be wide open. Then it's like... It's so many personalities, so you get you, you take it all in. Then when you go out of town, it's like it's more personalities. So you you just like you just gotta highlight what you want to talk about and jot. I like I do a lot of jot downs, yeah. or I or you might say something that catch me and they'll stick in my head and I put it in the music. Then a lot of people back home be like, "Yo, put me in the song, put me in the song." <laughs> so every now and then I throw. A homeboy, a friend in the song, or something like that. Those things go a long way. Like, there's a lot of Mob Deep records that I would listen to. Like, who the hell is these people? Then you, like, you eventually, like, start to meet the people, or they start coming out with records, or even, like, you remember back in the days when people were doing, like, shout outs at the end of their songs? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then years later, those people would come out with something. Yeah. <laughs> it was totally a thing. Like, you know, Nas shouted out Lakey the Kid. And then, like, years mm -hmm. later, like, Lake came out with a whole record label and a compilation. It's like, oh, it was a thing. Yeah. Even Cormega. Like, he shouted out <laughs> Cormega in One Love. And because of that shout out, people were kind of checking for Cormega when he dropped. Yeah. So, looking at your city, like, who were the people that, like, you know, showed y'all the yo, people that come from our neck of the woods actually can come out and do something? Us. Yeah, I'm like my own self, cause especially like where I'm from, ain't nobody, ain't nobody made it. Like, and especially where like North yeah. Carolina, ain't nobody done did what we yeah, done did. That's where I'm from. Like, it's a lot of talent there, but yeah. a lot of people haven't made it out. Like, and then it's still not, stuck. Like, they just fan bases of that town. Like, yeah, they're stuck on SoundCloud because they don't got the means to, you know, what I'm saying, to support their career. Mm -hmm. A lot of wasted talent for real. But yeah, I just me and him. That's how we. That's how we uh look at that. Now for Jay Mansa, what do y'all feel like? Y'all need to happen for that breakthrough to make y'all that household name that everybody knows. We trying to do that right now. Like, <laughs> it ain't no blueprint to that. Um, for real, just keep working and putting out music, get better and better as we go. I mean, that's all you can do for real. I mean, I mean the music is there. Yeah. yeah. You know. So you know, now, I mean, I guess now we just got to sell ourselves more. Got you. Yeah. Like the, when you wake up in the morning, do you be like, yeah, damn it, if blah 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 blah, we would be such and such and such. Like, what is the blah, 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 blah? Like, what needs to happen? Like, you know, if you, if Funkmaster Flex will let you freestyle for 30 minutes on his show, or is it like a, a, a sway five minutes of death freestyle? Is it I mean, a... Um, it, it ain't the freestyles, because we already done did the freestyles. It ain't the freestyles, freestyles, freestyles on freestyle, all platforms. Yeah, I um, don't... Damn near all platforms. I caught a couple. So, <laughs> so it, ain't, it ain't the freestyles. It's probably... Um, that's what... That's why I said you know, like you you don't never know. Every artist has their own way how they broke in the game. Like mm -hmm. you can't you can't like picture that. You can't determine on what's the word I'm looking for. You can't like the what's the word I'm looking for. You can't. It's it's you not formal. Yeah, too. like yeah, yeah. You give yeah, yeah. So you know what I'm saying. You can't predict it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Because sometimes people's like needs are specific. You know what yeah. I mean? Like sometimes like you know somebody may have all of the talent and the ability in the world, but they don't have a team. And it yeah. seems like you guys definitely have a team, people that ride for you. Shout out to my man, Big Hef. Shout yeah, I got, to my whole, got my whole family. Like, my dad, my manager, brother, he my producer. Man, Chico, back to the cameraman, he family too, so yeah. whole so family empire. Family this is empire. like the man. Rap Jacksons, man. Y'all like really, like, <laughs> keep, it, keep it a DNA. I like yeah. it. <laughs> so, um, you got a couple singles out right now. What is the one that is, like, the most important one to you right now? Uh, fate. fate, yeah, fate right now. Yeah, that's doing everybody that listens to it say that's the one. Like, so we definitely got our eyes on that one. I Get actually heard the, it in the, the club last yeah. night, um, and it really sounded. It yeah, yeah. In the club last mm -hmm. night. Is it still new to y'all to the point that when y'all hear y'all record in the club, 
I mean, you gotta like you know get the Kool Aid smile I'm, going. No, nah, I'm I'm used to it because yeah. like our songs been playing on the radio ever since um, New York, New York. So, but people just now starting to catch on to it. People be calling like, "Yo, I just heard you on the radio." I'm like, "Oh, word for real." And you, <laughs> and you know, we we made the song in the studio, so we heard it a hundred times before mm. it dropped. So it's like, but it's still, I still, I still, I still like my song. You know, still turn up to it every time I hear it. Well, get me if I, if I if I catch it on like watching sports or something, and they just pop on. That'll get me. You know? That has yeah, dope. Yeah. yeah, like when, when that come together, that like that's super dope. Yeah, something like that. Like something you ain't expecting, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. I like catching artists like early to where like, you know, like they, they've done some shows, you know, certain things are starting to bubble. <clears throat> have you guys gotten to the point where you guys like rocking out and people like know the lyrics yet? I, I, have y'all made it to that point yet? Um, no, we haven't made it. No, we ain't made it to that point yet. Um, last, that's the point I'm looking for. Yeah. That's what I'm looking for. I hope for. to get that at South by Southwest this uh, year. Yo, That's I mean, like, time. you know, it, it's all about manifestations, man, and, and putting oh, it out yeah. there in the universe. Of it's always funny how you see, like, certain, like, artists, right? Like, they'll come out, they'll have, like, a hype man because they need it. Yeah. And then yeah. once people start knowing their records, like, the hype man just mysteriously disappears. Because <laughs> <laughs> they don't need them no exactly. more because anybody knows the records. <laughs> yeah. It's like, hey, look, we had, we had, like, we had a show in Portland, Maine, right? Yeah, that, shout and out to was, Portland. And it was so crazy, like, the crowd wasn't even going crazy for us. Mm-hmm. They were going crazy for this man right here. Where was you doing? He had the girl on stage, bit the girl over mm-hmm. on stage, and the girl from the back picked up. And hype, man, like, hype man times 10. <laughs> <laughs> See, but sometimes, you know, you never know what's going to pull people in because, you know, it's it's a weird time we live in. Like, you yeah. know, people can enjoy what they're hearing, uh-huh. but they need something weird going on to stimulate them visually. Like, you yeah. know? Like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I said. Gotta sell you something. <laughs> Third verse. Because damn, millennials are just weird, man. Like, they're just not impressed by people being dope anymore. Nah, like, nah. he dope, but like, yo, why don't you need he have something any to sep- tattoos? Yeah, you need something to separate yourself from Eric. Something, at least something. Yeah. You make but yourself like, stand it, out. Yeah. If y'all keep chiming in way and chipping away the way y'all rocking, man, like, yo, like, it, it's definitely gonna be a thing. It's a breath of fresh air. Mm-hmm. Like, that's why, you know, and like, I know there's something to it because the second. They reached out to me about interviewing y'all. The record that I heard from y'all instantly hit me. It's like, oh, shit, yeah, Jay Manza. They did yeah. the New York, New York record. Yeah, yeah, And then, yeah. like, and these, these new records, man, <clears throat> I swear, fate is it, it, definitely popping, man. So, once again, uh-huh. social media is everything. Yes, it's sir. It's all about growing numbers. So you can do that little Spotify thing at the end of the year where people say your, your streams uh, grew. Uh-huh. Where can people follow y'all? Um, official J Manza, man. Uh-huh. That's official J A E M A N S A. Follow that again. Official J A E M A N S A. Like I said at first, the first selling follows that follow us get a follow back. Uh huh. All right, and you know, no pressure at all. But you know, like you know, some people are lazy and they will not go beyond uh, this interview and look up any music. They like, I want to hear them rap right now. I want to hear them rap today. If I threw up a random instrumental, man, could y'all possibly lend some rhymes to it? Yes, sir. I want right. to go acapella. You want to go acapella? Yeah, let's go acapella. Well, that's bold. That's something I don't hear every day. He want to go acapella. Let's do it then. Young and gifted. I don't smoke to get lifted. They testing my pace and trust me. It's been a long time waiting. Seeing your location, we gonna breeze by. It ain't Florence when you start seeing trees fly. I mean, I get the chopping. Shells get the knocking. Ain't no stopping till I empty the magazine, then flee the scene. Gonna respect me, put a coop on it. Sipping iced tea. I forgot the house ain't got no roof on it. Chanel kick, smoking the Cuban, I'm lit. Only time I see green when they emoji sick. Life's a bitch and I'm flirting. Three years shift and I'm working. Only time I see success is when they open them curtains up. And I'm for real, I ain't looking for a handout. Feet all dirty, but I'm stepping on the damn couch. Rest in peace to the dead and gone. I had to overdose for a minute because Mac Miller gone. One. Either you winning or you losing, they gon' talk about you Some hang around and see what they can get about you Never taking the light, that's why I'm on my feet Ten toes down, shoes glued to the street Everything you do, I peep, I don't talk, I'm, I see For a show I need 20, all I hang around is G's And don't be mistaken, my family who I mean That friend thing don't mean, on this toilet I sit You niggas came out all wrong like burning piss You know the old saying, we gon' die or get rich But you waking up with no goals on your list So what's your purpose, cause it seems f***ing worth 
ruthless. If taking care of your moms and your family ain't the verdict, kill yourself slow, nigga. This that cancer flow. Grinding every day, going to get it. All I know, I love that feeling when my whole team on the road. We play hard, but we work smart. We've been going hard. Now it's time to work smarter. We put our glasses on, nigga. Call me Harry Potter. I got a spell for you know I'm next, and it's true. They wish I was lying. They wish I was faking. They wish this rolling on my wrist. I'm shining all in their faces. Niggas always want your spot. Always trying to erase you. So we cut them niggas off like bitches that's basic. J-Man's in the motherfucking building. Damn right. Let me tell y'all something. That Rolly rapped about he's wearing it right now. <laughs> Come out wrong like burning piss. That was a hot line. I'm a fan of obscure metaphors. My man said, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You said, uh, first eight bars. First eight bars of your verse. Hold on. Uh, that girl that was an obscure metaphor. Uh, fuck! Young and gifted, I don't smoke to get lifted. They testing my patience, trust. It's been a long time waiting. Seeing your location, we gon' breeze by. It ain't Florence when you start seeing trees fly. I mean, I get the chopping, shells get the knocking. Ain't no stopping till I empty the magazine, then flee the scene. Gonna respect me, put a coupe on it, sipping iced tea. I forgot the Here house ain't got no roof on it. Obscure <laughs> reference in three, two, one. He took it back to the MTV Cribs episode where Ice T had the convertible house. <laughs> no one's doing that these days. You Yo. caught that. A lot of people don't catch. Yo, like I'm a sucker for like obscure metaphors that like you know it's for like the, the one two percent of people that remember the shit. So like that that shit was perfect, man. Like y'all are a dynamic duo. Like I'm talking EPMD. I'm talking DOS Effects. Whatever y'all do, don't break up. Don't let no girl come in between two of y'all. No, no, See never that. Kingdoms. Never that. No. Never that. You guys boot up? I got a girl. Yeah, I, I got Yeah, I do. All right, cool. Keep it that way. You light skinned, right. they, they, they cuff y'all early. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't let no BS break up the group. Jay Manza, man. Y'all got some things to say and people need to hear it, man. So be sure you follow him on social media. All the information is right there at the bottom of the board. Uh, don't get it wrong, like burning piss coming out the wrong way. Uh, <laughs> convertible mansion. Hey man, crazy hey man, there. we can't we can't forget about the album, man. The oh, album yeah. out right, right now. now. Y'all go, get that. go, get, sure that. go get, get that. Go get that. Go get that. And make sure y'all tag us and tell us what y'all favorite song is uh -huh. and what. And, the, and for two, which song y'all want us to shoot a video for? Yeah, do all that, man. Like he said, Young Kings out on all platforms. Go get that. There it is, man. J Man's in the building. Head crack after hours. Ghost.